I know how to hold a grudge I can send a bridge up in smoke something I feel is very valuable. Some horse that having horse change directions. A lot of people say that you have to have that horse turning into you or it's a sign of disrespect. And I just disagree with that. I think disrespect comes from the horse and their attitude. You can see here when I put a little pressure on that filly, I step right in there and all she's doing is a mechanical response. She's not listening to my flag. Right there, I put pressure on her until she moved out because when I stepped in front of her, she chose to spin. That wasn't really what I was asking. Now going the other direction, she go ahead. She goes ahead and turns into the fence because I'm putting that kind of pressure on her. I'm stepping into her space, I'm pressing on that inside eye, and I'm pushing it away from me. You can see here I did the same thing, but instead of changing directions and going into the fence, she just stops and throws her body around. I'm trying to push her eye away from me, right there. There's the release. I move her out, I let her go, I let her take that step. Before, she was just bound up. She wasn't listening to what I was asking. She was just going through a mechanical motion. To me, that doesn't make any more sign of respect than anything else. You can see here, I took the pressure off and the first thing she does is she tilts her nose to me and she faces in. I put a little pressure on, she turns into the inside of the round pin. Two completely different turns. Again, pressure off, she faces in. Pressure on, she turns. That was perfect for me. That's what I felt like I was asking for. I don't think that's disrespectful. I don't think that's disrespectful. It's This right here is disrespectful. She tries charging through my pressure. That to me is a sign of disrespect. I'm working on that ability to get her to have control, but she's disregarding where the pressure's coming from. Swishing her tail, running past the pressure. To me, that shows no more sign of respect than anything else. <coughs> you can see here, she, again, she, I'm, I'm putting pressure on her because she's ignoring the flag. And for a while here, she gets kind of hung up and she just goes forward. Even though I'm putting pressure on her, I'm in front of the drive line. It's kind of hard to tell from the camera angle, but I'm stepping in front of that shoulder and my flag's definitely in front of her nose. So right here, I'm kind of just putting some pressure on her to say, hey, listen, you are not hearing what I'm saying. It's not the most pretty amount of pressure. Right there, I kind of said, hey, I'm going to get into your space. You need to re be respectful. But there, there it was. That's the spot. I'm putting that kind of pressure on her. Here, she's ignoring me. She's saying, no, oh, I don't need to acknowledge that. And so I'm kind of saying, hey, listen, listen, listen. And I'm right there, I just was like, you know what? It's not, we're not getting anywhere. I'm gonna just kind of wait it out. Halfway through, I kind of said, you know what? We're not getting through this Philly. So now what I've been doing is I'm waiting for her to slow back down. I'm like, you want to lope, lope. I'm gonna put the pressure on your eye. If you don't turn, that's fine. But I didn't want her to continue to run through that pressure. I didn't want to basically desensitize her to the idea that that flag was gonna keep going. <coughs> and I kind of throw the flag up there here and there just to say, hey, I'm still putting pressure on you. And you'll have to excuse me, I'm a little sore. I'm not moving around the round pin very easy. And so I kind of have a hitch in my giddy up, but I'm trying to do my best to offer a clear presentation of what I'm asking of this filly. I'm, I'm definitely out in front of her. I ain't as good as I'm gonna get, but I'm better than I used to be. But here I just continually ask and say, hey, listen. And like right there, she kind of just threw her body in there. She just made a turn. You can see I'm asking again and there she goes to speed right past me again. She's speeding past that pressure. I turned and faced her, but see, I'm trying to get her to turn to the round pin. She's not asking where I'm at. She's not saying, 
she says, I know how to do this. I know, what you, I know what you're asking of me. And I'm like, no, that's not what I'm asking. So right now I kind of just doing stuff until it gets a little better. See here, I'm like, hey, no, you need to kind of respect that space. She'll throw her body in there. She'll she'll cut into my space, even though I'm right on top of her, to turn into me. That's not respect to me. And I told somebody the other day, I said, people that think that disrespect comes from a horse turning their butt to you has never been bit or struck enough to realize that it comes from any end of the horse. It's more a mind thing than it is, you know, a matter of, what direction they're changing or how they're changing. To me, it's about body position. If I'm in their space and I put pressure on them, they should turn away from me. See right here, I'm like, hey, get out of my space, get out of my way, you know. She's she's just kind of got an attitude this day. She's, she's kind of wringing her tail at me. She's telling me to, you know, kind of shove off. And then like right there, I'm gently, I'm gonna ask her to walk off. I'm like, you can keep moving your feet because I didn't like how she slammed her front end into the ground. But I'm gonna ask her to move forward a little bit here and just gently, quietly, just kind of play around with her and say, hey, listen. Now she kind of was saying, you know, I'm not gonna move that fast. And I was like, well, then you're gonna get tapped. And you can see how light I was with my flag when I asked for that. She's getting a little out of breath. And I mean, that's to be expected. But now it's about, you know, offering, offering a suggestion and see if she'll take it. See here, I step out in front and what does she do? She turns to the fence. That's what she should have done there. That's what my body language is, was suggesting to her. When I back off, there's the nose. It comes right to me. Again, that's what my body language was suggesting to her. It's not a matter of being disrespectful. Either way she turns. As long as she's in tune with me, then she's more likely to be respectful. And people are like, well, you can't have them turn their heels to you. They'll kick you. Well, I hate to say it, but if I have a horse acting a certain way, chances are I'm not going to step up into their space and ask for them to do something. I'm gonna wait until their mind's right before I put myself in a vulnerable state. And that's really helped me in the past to stay out of trouble. It's kept me from getting kicked. It's kept me from getting struck. You know, the reasons I've been, I've been, I made contact with a horse or a horse has made contact with me in the past is not because of something that the horse did, but more of something I did when the horse wasn't ready. If I put too much pressure on a horse in a 12 by 12 pen trying to catch him, I've had one turn around and give me both hind feet. Well, that was, those horses were just mentally not prepared for what I was asking. I wish I had my facility set up better at that time, but I didn't. Now I've got my facility set up the way I like it and I don't have to put myself in those vulnerable situations. If my horse isn't ready to be caught in a 12 by 12, I don't catch him in a 12 by 12. So, I really think it's just a matter of offering a suggestion, and if your horse is willing to help you, then you get a lot more out of it. <coughs> we can kind of see this filly's kind of slowing down a little bit, and my flag gets a lot quieter, and I start offering a little more suggestions, and from here, we're just going to go ahead and let you finish watching the video. And you can kind of see where I go with it. You can kind of see what I was looking for. You can see how things got set up. And you can see the, the outcome. So, hope you have a wonderful day. I ain't no angel But I've been sitting out a few more dances With the devil And cleaning up my act Little by little I'm getting there I can finally stand the man in the mirror I see I ain't as good as I'm gonna get But I'm better than I used to be Oh Lord, I'm better than I used to be
know how to hold a grudge I can send a bridge up in smoke And I can't count the people I've let down Or the hearts I broke You ain't gotta dig too deep If you wanna find some dirt on me But I'm learning who you've been Ain't who you've gotta be it's gonna be an uphill climb Oh, honey, I won't lie I ain't no angel But I've been sitting out a few more dances With the devil And cleaning up my act Little by little I'm getting there I can finally stand The man in the mirror I see I ain't as good as I'm gonna get But I'm better than I used to be I pinned a lot of demons to the ground Got a lot of old habits licked But there's still one or two I might need you to help me kick Standing in the rain so long Left me with a little rust But put some faith in me Someday you'll see There's a diamond under all this dust I ain't no angel But I've been sitting out a few more dances With the devil And cleaning up my act Little by little I'm getting there I can finally stand the man in the mirror I see I ain't as good as I'm gonna get But I'm better than I used to be I ain't no angel I've been sitting out a few more dances with the devil And cleaning up my act little by little I'm getting there, I can finally stand the man in the mirror I see I ain't as good as I'm gonna get, but I'm better than I used to be to hold a grudge I can send a bridge up in smoke and I can't count the people I've let down or the hearts I broke you ain't gotta dig too deep if you wanna find some dirt on me but I'm learning who you've been ain't who you've gotta be it's gonna be an uphill climb Oh, honey, I won't lie I ain't no angel But I've been sitting out a few more dances With the devil And cleaning up my act Little by little I'm getting there I can finally stand the man in the mirror I 